Hey, thanks, Amber, and get on your feet, Colts fans. It's first and Joel. I just made that up a new wrinkle to first and Joel with Joel A. Erickson from the Indy Star. And just a typical week covering this team. You have a key defensive lineman suspended. You have the franchise quarterback out for the season. Seems like that's been just what we've seen these last few years with this team. Yeah, it's it's been one news story after another. Most of them not great uh, in terms of what's going on. Richardson going out, I think the way to look at it though is at least they're not making the same mistakes again. Or, or not maybe not them, but you know, obviously when Andrew Luck had his shoulder, the surgery was an option and he decided not to take it. It led to more problems later on. I think that plays into Anthony Richardson's decision and the Colts' decision is let's take care of it now, get it fixed, not make it worse. When you think about his future, and that's what they're really concerned about. How much has this set him back, however? You have the surgery, you have the rehab, and he misses all these reps and all these games. That, that's kind of a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big deal. It means that next year is going to kind of be another rookie year for him. I do think, though, that what we saw from him in the little bit, the 173 snaps we saw, is encouraging enough that you feel a lot better about it than maybe you would if he hadn't looked good. We, we saw him bring them back almost all the way back against the Rams. We saw what the legs can do. We got to see some stuff. I think you feel better about it than if he'd struggled or if he'd been hurt in training camp. But next year, you'll have a guy that had 13 college starts under his belt, just four NFL starts. So yeah, almost back to square one. Meanwhile, it's time for Minshew Mania for the remainder of the season. Looked great up until last week. Was that an anomaly, or do you think that's something now that teams will be able to game plan for him and he'll have some trouble? Uh, well, in, in his two starts, in the two games the teams knew he was playing, his quarterback rating is only 70.1. It, when he plays, they've got to take stuff away from him. He can't He can't be having to make a lot of plays downfield. He he's got to get the ball out of his hands quick and short. That means the running game is going to have to be very good, kind of the way it was in 2021. They're going to have to be able to run into stack boxes and still get yards. They, you got to keep him from having to throw downfield because the more he throws downfield, the more his lack of arm strength and his issues with pressure tend to show up. On the other side of the ball, Grover Stewart suspended six games. How big of a loss will he be in that time? I think it's an enormous loss. We, we saw a couple weeks ago that if you take one of the tackles out, Buckner was hurt. Taven Bryan kind of got ran over a little bit. And Grover Stewart is, is just as important to the run defense. It gives teams something that they haven't had. Now, I think the one way they get out of it is if Eric Johnson is better than everybody expects. He took a fifth round pick on him, super athletic guy out of Missouri State. He's the primary backup. If he's good, I think it can mitigate it. But if he's not, it's going to be really tough for this run defense. Let's get to Joel A. Erickson's keys to the game today against the Browns. Well, they're all offensive keys <laughs> because the Cleveland Browns defense is so good. They're ranked first at just about everything. Number one is just keep pounding away. Like last week we saw they tried to throw the Jaguars out of a front. It didn't really work. They led to turnovers. They're going to have to keep pounding away with Jonathan Taylor and Zach Moss. Number two, these wide receivers are going to need to win on the outside. The, the Browns play more man than just about anybody else. Their corners have unreal statistics. Denzel Ward is only giving up completions on 30%. They've got to win those matchups and, and give Gardner Minshew some quick throws. And then the last one is handle the blitz. Everyone's going to be talking about Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett is going to get his. He's that good. The problem is they're going to send people. They've got linebackers and defensive backs that are going to come after him. Minshew in the Baltimore game struggled with that. they got to handle the blitz better against the Browns than they did in Baltimore. Does this feel like a win today for the Horseshoe? Uh, it's a tough one to see, especially with Deshaun Watson coming back for the Browns offense. It's a tough one to see against a defense that's very far and away the best in the NFL. He's Joel A. Erickson. Check him out at the Indy Star and on Twitter or X or whatever you like to call it. Let's hit a break. <laughs> We're back with more right after this.